Hi and welcome, I'm Bob Fuller and in this lesson we are going to draw a cartoon kid. So uh, I've kind of done a rough sketch here. It's um, a, a girl, I think, we're going to do uh, eating a big huge piece of watermelon. So we're going to have some fun with this. Uh, I always just draw a very quick rough sketch and then uh, in Photoshop here I create another layer and I can actually turn the opacity down on that rough sketch layer too so I can see better uh, my line work and then I'll go over here and grab a um, darker color. I, I could either use, uh, I'm kind of using right now a um, sort of a dark gray. Um, I could do black too. You can use whatever you'd like. And then I kind of have a, a, a pencil here. Um, all kinds of things that I could use. I could use, um, let me see, wet media. Let me see what brushes are in here. Um, here's an inking, thick and thin. That's kind of a cool one too, which uh, is kind of fun to use. Let's use that one. It's got a little bit of, I like the little bit of a rough edge. It just feels more um, you know, hand drawn to me, it's just a little more fun to it, uh, not so slick. Um, I have, uh, I would also, you know, have another style that I use that's very graphic, and if I were drawing in Adobe Illustrator, I might use that and have really, you know, razor sharp um, or, or at least very vectorized, um, thick and thin kind of lines. But I, I like the my lines to be sort of this thick and thin kind of thing there, you know, like almost like a brush stroke where it goes thin, can get thick. Uh, let me erase those now, and I'll probably go a little bit larger here. And then if I just control the brush, um, I can I can kind of get it thick where I want and thin where I where I want. So anyway, let's let's play around here. And I might um, let me see well, where do we want to start. We'll just start just about anywhere. Let's uh, let me zoom in a little bit actually, and we'll take the piece here and just start. I guess I'm just going to start up here. Whoops, that's a little too thick. So let's just have some fun here. We'll just make her have some kind of wavy hair. Uh, let's see what we do here. So I'm just kind of having some fun with this now. We'll have to decide eyes, eyes wise. Is that a, is that a word? Um, with her eyes, what we want to do? Uh, let me see here. And what I what I sometimes will do, quite honestly, is I will maybe even have a um, um, do a rough and then you know if, if there's some things I don't like I'll go in and change that so I might do that here um, let me just see what I'm I'm kind of doing uh, with with my particular style I'll do a kind of a wavy line kind of thing going on no let's, let's sort of make this go here so we've got She's maybe taking some bites out of it a little bit. Pull this in here. Okay. So I will typically, you know, just kind of get it, get it going here. Even though I've got a rough sketch underneath, that the rough is is so rough that I might. This is almost like my refined rough. And then I may draw over the top of this and, and refine it further and get, get kind of what I really want. Let's see. this first one here and uh, we'll just get it laid out here and this is a little isn't quite working the way that I that I really want it to go so um, but we'll just play here for a moment and just get all these pieces um, a little bit better drawn in here just a little bit better create some sandals here And uh, typically, my uh, the way I, I draw these is, you know, if you can get the black and white line, the black and white art, you know, uh, done well, you, it's it's almost you can have fun with color. You you can't really mess up the color 
Uh, I mean, it, it, I shouldn't say can't. You, uh, it's very difficult to mess it up with color. And we'll talk about color as well on, uh, as I draw these and as I bring other lessons uh, to you. I'll always kind of talk about color and give you some ideas about color. Sometimes color is the thing that, that people are so freaked out about. And it's really, um, there are some tips that you can use that, you know, can make your, the way you color things uh, just work every time. So, okay, so we've got a rough here, um, at which, which I'm going to basically, it's modified a little bit, but um, there's still some areas that I want to work out. So I'm going to take this way down to maybe about in here. And I guess I can even lose that one. And so now I'm going to create another layer here. And... Um, let me see, I'm gonna get a, I don't really like that brush too much. I'm gonna get something that's a little more funky. I need something a little more, I use this one for a lot of tutorials because it, it works really well. Let's see how that brush, oops, I gotta put it on the right layer. Let's create that other layer here, there we go. Um, yeah, this is, this is fun because this just feels, I like the rough feel of this. So, um, let's go in here. We, we need something up here being a lot cuter. You know, so we wanna, make some maybe some bangs here and what we're going to do here is we're going to put her notice how putting her her head and her uh, features further down on the head and smaller it's got a cuter look to it go and I'm always doing kind of this thick and thin thing right um, we're uh, we'll decide how much exactly we want to add detail wise but we don't have to do that right now whoops and I'm, I'm trying to keep this thing so that it has some personality um, there we go I'm gonna put a little bit of the uh, bottom end of a sleeve here on a shirt. Leave that there. So I'm going to do the same over here. So I might as well just take it over here and put this. So notice how I'm, you know, the shirt, because her arm would, um, because this lower part is, um, is hanging, of course, then her arm would be up against that edge. So there's no space in this part of the, of the shirt sleeve. Just little things like that make it feel a little more authentic. And whoops, let's get this thing drawn right here. There we go. Okay. So let's. I'm gonna turn the uh, turn my drawing thing here a little bit. I also think so this character you know she's probably I don't know seven or eight maybe a little bit older even um, and we'll play with some younger characters too in in uh, other tutorials but I just want to show you how just kind of building up a, a, a rough layout you can you know get some characters uh, that really have a lot of personality and don't look like the typical there is sort of a typical look to quote unquote cartoon characters and um, although that's kind of a good place to start I know there are some cartoon um, teachers that um, have kind of that look it's it's kind of you know they might have books and stuff that they've done over the years um, that I'm not trying to get you to draw like me I'm trying to get you to think in a sort of a cartoony kind of way and then um, develop your own style um, and, uh, and not copy, not copy mine. It's fine if you want to copy mine to learn a little bit, but uh, you can develop your own style, and that's the fun part of it. Creating your own characters, giving them, you know, personality. Um, that's the fun part of, of, of doing this and creating, uh, drawing in this sort of cartoon or humorous style, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I, I do a lot of things that uh, that are in this sort of a, just a light kind of humorous style. And uh, you know, I guess for lack of a better term, you can call it cartoon, but it's just a it's just a light style. And notice here how I'm kind of wiggling my brush as I draw, and I'm doing um, underneath the the edge of shirts here. I'm adding um, shadow. So when I come back to this with um, 
with color, um, I've already got some, some nice blocked in shadow that I can already use. Um, and, and so that really helps every place that, um, like a, like part of the shorts here, I'm kind of notice also the shadow has a little curve at the bottom. It just makes it feel a little more like it's, um, <coughs> the uh, leg shape underneath is round, you know? So little things like that can, can make your, your drawing just feel a little bit, um, have a little more uh, roundness to it, a little more lifelike. Um, obviously, this is faked realism. Cartoons, that's really all they are. You know, we're just faking uh, something that's that's realistic, but giving it our own our own look. So I'm creating these little shadowed areas. Um, it just seems to work pretty well. You can even do it under, if there are, you know, bangs like this, you can put a little bit right here. Not too much up in the head area. You want it to be too dark. Um, so, looks pretty good there. Um, I don't know if I'll, maybe I'll even, I don't think she would have hair that long. Nah, we'll leave that out. Leave that out. Let's keep her hair in here. And it would end somewhere in here. So that looks pretty good. Let's, let's see about putting a little part of her, start forming her chin there. So this piece of the watermelon where she's biting out of it reverses out of there. Okay. So let's move down here and play around with this a little bit. And I'm going to just make some kind of fun little sandals. Okay. So I'm keeping it pretty loose. I have a, you know, this kind of loose style. And, and we'll work on some things that are, that are more detailed, cartoony type things. But um, the loose style is one that has, I've really loved to draw in for years and it seems to be pretty popular. You still have to be accurate, but it's hard to, it's hard to draw in a loose style and, uh, and make it feel spontaneous. Sometimes I'll have to redraw something if I get too picky with it. Um, it looks, uh, it just doesn't look good if it's, if it's drawn too picky. Um, you know, if I play around with, uh, if I play around with uh, making the lines you know, a little more rough, and when I say rough, it's just kind of the line quality. I still want to go in here and we want to um, do what I call kind of turning the corners here, you know, making, giving that a little bit of shape, uh, the correct shape to it. Um, and, you know, you can add little shadow here, not too much, um, but doing stuff like that. Um, and then I'll, uh, to make the characters sit uh, or feel like they're standing on the surface, I'm going to create, you know, a little bit of ground shape here, just roughly. Uh, and, and sort of use this style to kind of fade out a shadow of some kind. And create another little bit here. You know, you certainly could do all, you could do all kinds of stuff with this. You can create, um, you know, grass or shrub type things doing some of this, those kinds of markings. Um, let's zoom back out. So, you know, there, there we have it. We've got kind of a cute um, drawing. Um, didn't, didn't take long. Um, I, I think I might go in here. The only thing that I would probably play around with is this this hair up here. It's a little too heavy up in there. And now that I've got that, I'll take this out and you can kind of see the image better. We'll zoom in just a bit. And we'll kind of just make this, her hair down a, a little more like this. There we go. Um, so there you have it. Um, I guess one of the things I would do here too is, since this is watermelon, I might make some some seeds in here. That would be the only other thing that I would do, I think. Let's see. Yeah. And notice I'm, I'm f intentionally forcing myself to use this, this brush that's kind of rough, because it just gives that hand-drawn kind of look, and that's really what I'm, what I'm going for. Well, I think we've got this one, and I think we'll call it quits. Um, hope you enjoyed this um, tutorial, and please uh, subscribe uh, to my channel if you if you enjoy seeing more of these. Um, have a great day, and thanks for watching.